Okay, so welcome back. So in this example, we're going to show how the disk method works when we want to take a region that's bounded by a function, right? And this time we're going to found, find the volume of the solid of revolution where this region is rotated around the y-axis instead of the x-axis. And so in this example, we want to use the region that's bounded by g of y equal to this and the y-axis, so we want the region between these two and the region that's between 0 and 4, y equals 0 and y equals 4. And we're going to rotate it about the y-axis. And since we're going to rotate it about the y-axis, we're going to use the formula for the volume that's related to that. So it's going to be from c to d, pi, g of y, squared dy. And so now I'm going to fill in the parts that I know. So the interval goes from 0 to 4, so c is 0 and 4 is d. And then I'm going to pull the pi out because it's a constant, and g is the square root of 4 minus y, and we're going to square that, and then dy. And now we're off we're out of the gate now. Okay, so now we can go. So this is going to become pi. Now, this is going to become simplified because the square root and the square cancel each other out. So this is just going to become 4 minus y dy. And now, integrate. So we get pi and we're going to get what? We're going to get 4y minus one-half y squared evaluated from zero to four. Now, since there's a y in each one of these terms, at zero, this whole thing's going to go to zero. So it's just going to be something evaluated at four minus zero. So let's just evaluate it at four. So this is going to be pi times four times four minus one-half 4 squared, and if we go one step further, we get 16 minus half of 16, which is 8, and so we get 8 pi. And that is the volume of the solid of revolution about the y-axis, given the region. Okay, and I encourage you, do these problems on your own. And see if you get the same thing. Draw a picture. Use your calculator to show you the picture and say, I didn't even use the calculator, right? But again, if you're a visual person, you want to see that and you want to know, hey, what the region is and you want to graph it on your calculator, go for it, okay? Okay. See you next time.